tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign and she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money on her own I call her independent shawty What's up everybody I'm Evil Rabbit We are here on Forza Motorsports 7 We do have the stock G920 rim still hooked up And uh we do have uh, our 350Z that we have still tuned from last episode here today to do a little bit of initiating without a handbrake, handbrake initiation, but mainly trying to drift without a handbrake because I know a lot of people don't have an external handbrake. They're trying to find the button when it's spinning and it's really not that easy. I know I don't have a button here. It's over here, but it's not as easy to find a button when the wheel's rotating around like, okay, where's this button? Where's this button? Looking away from the screen. So we're going to do some drifting today without a handbrake. And uh, basically kind of show that it is possible to use the weight of the car and brakes to uh, drift without it. Um, it helps a lot to have a handbrake, but if you don't have one, you don't really necessarily need one. You can just use clutch kicks and power motors or uh, weight transfers to uh, get the car slotting. So we can just kick it one way, clutch kick the other way, use the clutch to stay sideways. Cut the line a little bit because of lack of power. Throw the weight of the car. Use that little left for braking because we did lower the brake pressure down. I believe either on this car or the other one. Actually, I think this car has factory brakes. I think it's a 370. So we were able to do that without without handbrake. Um, is it easy? Eh, once you get going, not really. Um, it's really hard to do some turns without a handbrake because you're gonna have to really rely on your left foot braking to uh, make sure you slow yourself into the turn and uh, not understeer like I did there. I'm gonna kick it back like that, no handbrake needed. Try to run this out. Like right there, we're gonna have to really pop that clutch. And really clutch kick that to uh, get that car sliding because it started understeer on us. Now a quick handbrake pull would fix that. So there is many different ways to do it. Um, we're gonna try and do kind of, now I guess, a quicker entry and use brakes. We're gonna flip it with a handbrake. We're not actually gonna use the handbrake. So there's many different ways that you can actually start it. Um, do I recommend drifting on the handbrake? Now if you can use the button, I would definitely recommend using the button because this is not the easiest thing to do. And you, it has to be very well timed. In order for it to really work, and you really got to rely on left foot brakes and clutch kicks and just know the track and know the line because a quick handbrake pull could adjust your line as well as brakes. But when you're not using a handbrake and you just got to rely on, say, the weight of the car like this. You can run into the issue unless you tune your brakes to be more rear biased where you will get understeer. Um, so we're trying to do this without a handbrake to see if it's physically possible and it is. You just gotta use way more clutch and maybe a little bit of a grass line there to get yourself sideways but it is definitely possible to use the weight of the car. Start a little manji here. A little brake flick. Part of the brakes. A little bit misjudged, but we still got it sideways. We're gonna just save that. Is that little grass line, little left foot brake. Just keep the car on the track. Little clutch kick there. Little clutch kick the transition there. And we're able to do that without a without a handbrake so we're gonna try and do that first turn again let's clutch kick this way I picked that too soon and we started to understeer so that's where I would have uh, you know liked to pull my e-brake and uh, definitely get the car going but you can use brakes and clutch kick to keep the car sideways so it is possible to drift on a handbrake is it easy not really but I recommend it if you have to I prefer a little bit of a handbrake grab, but uh, I am trying to do a lot more driving now without a handbrake. So we're gonna see if we can't uh, get 
That's better. Oh, that was really way off. That's a very aggressive flick. But hey, it worked. We're in, we're in line on the turn. We're in the outside edge where I want to be. Cut that front apron. Rumble strips. Flick it back. Oh boy. So, drift stick without a handbrake. Definitely not easy. So we're gonna switch up tracks, try it again at some other tracks. Definitely not easy, um, but it is possible. So we are going to find another track that could be fun. Prague would be very hard. Rio, or Atlanta. Because a lot of these higher speed corners, you would definitely need a handbrake to uh, pitch the car into initiation from a straight line. So I feel like we're going to go try Maple Valley and see if we can't do this at Maple Valley. This might be uh, quite complicated in the first turn, but uh, we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. Not promising super, super much, but we'll see what happens once the track loads. So I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. Definitely going to be doing some more. Um, if you guys have ideas on something that you would like to see, in a say a tutorial with the g920 or something like that let me know down in the comment section down below maybe as a technique tandems and stuff like that are to come but like maybe a technique or something that you guys are trying to get or practice on or want to challenge me to try let me know because uh i'm always up for a challenge so we're not going to use the handbrake you know i just grabbed it so i'm not sure how this car is going to handle in this first turn Throw a punch kick in there. I don't think it's gonna have enough power, but kinda does. Kinda still drifting. We're just stretching that third gear out there. We gotta... So when it comes to this track, it's gonna be a lot of clutch kicks and a lot of left foot breaks to keep weight. Especially coming up here on this bridge, we're gonna try and uh, double shift it. We're going to try and definitely uh, get the car sideways through this whole section. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. That was a little bit too early. So, we definitely had to bail out on that one. Which is something you got to learn how to do too. If you don't think you're going to make the corner, you, do, you could have to bail. I know it's not a real car, so if you wreck, it's no big deal. But still, knowing when to bail out is a good thing as well. This is actually uh, somewhat difficult. But it is still fun. I'm going to throw a little club kick on the grass. Get the car sideways. Oh boy. That grass life though. Grassroots. That's not what grassroots means, but hey. Little break to flick it over. On top of the brakes. And I think we're good. Little clutch kick. So, not. Oh, not as bad as I thought this was gonna be. Oh, until we wrecked. Well, good thing it's not a competition car. So we're going to give this a shot. And try and do this uh, a little bit faster. Definitely needed a downshift there. It wasn't too, too bad of a of attempt there. Definitely gonna see if we can't do that under the bridge section again. Woo! Wow, it down for a minute. Could have adjust something on my screen that uh totally popped up on me. I felt like taking all those cones and that got really slippery. All right, so we're gonna see if we can do this. Not 
sure how the speed's gonna work. Here's a quick clutch kick. Or use the walls. So that did not work out at all. Don't do that. So we had a bit of a screen issue. So we've uh, corrected that. And we're still drifting without a handbrake. Doing everything that we can, all the clutch kicks, to keep this car sideways. No clutch kicks, shredding some sparks. That was a very long clutch kick entry. But, we are able to drift somewhat. Now, it's not as super flowy as if you have a handbrake. As you can see, we're gonna do the next lap with a full handbrake so you can see the difference because this is definitely not my normal drifting. So we are gonna run this lap with handbrake, full handbrake. We're gonna run it how we would normally. This car backfires so much. This backfires though. So here we go. We're gonna run this one how we would if we had normal handbrake and everything. Still only use the handbrake a little bit there. Oh boy. That grass line though. I don't think this car has the full amount of power to do this section of the track. But now we that we have our handbrake and we are using it to see the difference. There's a lot more slides. So now I know we will definitely be able to get this under bridge section for sure see having the ability to use a handbrake there definitely makes that whole section much easier to drive as we do in grassroots again But I've noticed that I've been using the handbrake a lot less in certain sections of tracks now. Where normally I would pull the handbrake all the time, I'm using more weight. So it is definitely possible. So just a little bit of a uh, test for no handbrake in the beginning of this episode to see, to show you guys a little bit the benefits of a handbrake and that it is possible to do it without it. it may not look as cool. It could be a little bit harder, but you don't need to use a handbrake as a clutch, or as a crutch, not a clutch, because you do need a clutch. You don't need a handbrake as a clutch to drift. People, a lot of people rely a lot on it. So when you get more into tandems and more into leading, handbrakes will become more useful as well as a hindrance as well, because you can do that and get greedy with it. And if you were drifting in Japan, they don't really use handbrakes. So not a style I'm very much used to, so that's why I was doing it today, definitely practicing it and seeing how it works. So you guys will follow me on Instagram and Twitch and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm going to post that wall. I'm even rabbit. And I'm out. We got some tires to be in the back of our car though.